Why should I concentrate on getting an education? Because I don't have a future anyway, not with what's happening inside me. With my resounding failure with my previous band, I had sort of given up on music. I pretty much attributed that failure to myself, you know, thinking, well, it's because you can't sing, otherwise people would have taken notice and you would have been successful. Mm -hmm. There's too much talent out there for you to clog up the airways with your mediocrity. Your beauty is unstoppable Your confidence unspeakable I know you know, I know you know But I know that you know I'm willing to do anything To get attention from you, dear I moved to New York. It's really great to be sober in a city like that because there's so much that you miss when you're not. I decided to get my certificate in Russian medical interpreting, so I went to NYU for a couple of years. Things were going pretty well. So in Midlake, um, we had met at South by Southwest, and then Eric Polito asked me to come sing at his wedding, and that sort of cemented the friendship between me and the Midlake boys. Baby, you were dreaming. of the next couple of years while I was living in New York, they kept coming at me with, you know, you shouldn't give up on music. And basically what they did was, you know, they just sort of helped me get back on my feet. It took me a while to accept their offer because they said, you can come and stay with us in Texas for free, live at our houses, use our studio for free, and uh, we'll play as your backing band for free. I mean, who says that? In fact, you know, in today's world, you tell people like that to fuck off because nobody says that and means it. Then, you know, I decided that it was just too good of an offer to, to pass up and that they were obviously serious about it because they just kept saying, look, we're here. All you have to do is show up. So I, I made the plans and I went down there and um, that's basically how that came about. When I woke up today, the air was very strange. I couldn't feel my skin and there was evil in my I tried to speak but found that I didn't have a voice It was a prison like the one you would find in the twilight zone And I feel just like Sigourney all just love the 70s. For me that means, you know, childhood. You know, that sound means uncomplicated, content, not fucked up yet, you know. So I wanted to reconnect with that. But uh, what's, what I love about this record is that we achieve that in a very tasteful way, I think. So that you don't end up feeling like it's cloying or saccharine. You simply use the word lush and you say that's rich, like a piece of, you know, incredible dessert, but you don't get sick afterwards. That's possible. And I feel just like one on a rider in that movie about vampires. And she couldn't get that accent right. And neither could that other guy. The stage
stage show is definitely different. You know, it's, it's, it's more stripped down. You know, we don't have the flutes and the bassoons and all that, and I'm hoping that we will someday. But when we play Royal Albert Hall, if that ever happens, maybe we can hire a couple of, you know. <laughs> See what we can do. <laughs> to change the world but I could not even change my underwear and when the shit that was sort of the beginning of me as a independent singer songwriter that was the first thing that I wrote it's one of my favorite songs because the lyrics are so important to me and it's one of those rare moments when you were able to express yourself exactly the way that you wanted to I hope I didn't Destroy your celebration, or your bad mitzvah birthday party, or your Christmas. That song is basically the culmination of the rage, you know, the rage of having always felt like I was a completely useless human being because I was taught to reject myself and I was taught that what I was was not okay, you know, that I was gonna, you know, because I grew up in a really religious background where it was like, you're gonna go to hell if you're a faggot. If you're sucking dick, you're going to hell. If you got a cock in your mouth, you better have a vagina between your legs. So I was taught, you know, that I was gonna go to hell and that healthy self-confidence was mixed up with pride. So, cause you know, in the Bible it says pride comes before the fall. To me that translated to, if you like anything about yourself, you're gonna be punished. You put me in this cage and threw away the key. It was this us and them shit that did me in. You tell me that my life is based upon a lie I casually mention that I pissed in your coffee I hope you know that all I want from you is sex To be with someone who looks smashing in athletic wear And if your haircut isn't right, you'll be dismissed You'll get your walking papers and you can leave now you know, I had hoped to leave those gay feelings, I'd hoped to leave all that gay stuff behind in Michigan when we moved to Colorado, because I was 12. And I thought, well, if I can just leave that behind in Michigan and it doesn't follow me to Colorado, then maybe I can lead a normal life, you know? And I'll be able to fit in. But, you know, those feelings don't go away. You know, they, of course, that's ridiculous, and they follow you, they're still there. I was considered to be fairly intelligent, and I always had great grades. But when I started realizing that I was becoming, you know, this evil, perverted faggot that was going to hell, nothing else mattered to me anymore because I knew that I was, I was doomed. I don't know what to want from this world I really don't know what to want from this world And I don't know what it is you want to want from me became an alcoholic, a cocaine addict. You know, I couldn't be some weak faggot. I had to destroy the sensitivity, destroy the vulnerability, destroy all of the things that make it possible for me to make music in the first place in order to survive in the world, in order to be able to protect myself. So that's what I've tried to express in this song, is just the rage of becoming tired of rejecting yourself. It's that, you know, it's that point that you get to, it's like, you know what, there's no way I'm as fucking bad as I think I am, or as, as you have told me I am. You know, the stuff that's going on in my head is bleak, but also there's that humor has been my, you know, has been my savior throughout the, the entire, well, throughout my entire life. The album is so personal. It's so personal. Every single song is autobiographical, and I've made no attempt to hide that, you know? You think of the original stuff, you know, the Bill Cosby, the Bob Newhart, you know, I'm hoping that that'll, you know, fit into that category. <laughs>
it's easier for me to believe that you are lying to me when you say you love me and when you say you need me yes it's easier for me to walk away and get on with my life if i believe that you are deceiving me if i believe that you would be